tonight. She's moving. Get her up to speed. Take care of this myself. Fuck! An app! So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I am sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the rapid camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Uh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. See? Okay. Starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Seems a boat. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last one. All right. Do it. 
What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those guys. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning... Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. And please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <sighs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me on the count as well. Always. Need to know. No 
buddies behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Fear me. Happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pin him, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. I... I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Uh... Forget about it. Maybe once you move camp, we'll... Relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, and suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we're safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know... Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <sighs> Long story. Got a job. Fucked it up. Now Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. You're barely standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Alda Caldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. V? 
want me to walk with you? I spent it so what? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Anna. mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. I haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhand. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true. Because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with him. Well, she's right. Have fun.
There you are. This is Drowson. From Cutthroat. Hey, big fan! Huge fan! You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. Chill, She's in the same boat as you. Wanna talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crag got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. All right, let's do this. Fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Losers always say that. Just did it to have a good time. Still think you're better than me? Damn right I do. But maybe this will help. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Hella preem. 
Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. You can still come to my show. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. <sighs> Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. The former. Found your job posting about Swedenborg Riviera on the net. Oh, that. Wow. I completely forgot about that whole thing. So, is it still going? I mean, I still want to scroll a segment about it, so if you can find anything at all on Swedenborg, I'll pay you back in black caviar and champagne. But I doubt you'll find anything new. Can't hurt to try, right? Well, aren't you just bursting with a can-do attitude? Have it your way, then. I started looking into all this about a year ago, right after one of Swedenborg's followers lobbed a Molotov into the Helvetia branch. Tried finding some way to reach the guy, came up blank. Total brick wall. Hired a private eye, also came up with squat. And the IP linked to the account? He would have used cloaking daemons, but there's always a mark, a trace. Well, well, I didn't know I was dealing with such a pro here. Guess what? I tried that. I managed to pinpoint the stick to Santo Domingo, but linking it to any specific address was a non-starter. District's jam-packed with units, as I'm sure you know. Ask some locals if anyone saw or heard anything, cash in hand. Zilch. Nada. Dried up all my leads. Got it. Listen, send me the coordinates of the last data term that relayed the signal, okay? I'll take a look. Worst case, I'll lose an hour of my life. Best case, well, who knows? Hey, if you're offering, why not? But seriously, V, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Happy hunting. Why this obsession with Sweden, fuck? Hoping once you find him, he'll spill the meaning of life? Here, I'll save you the trouble. Life makes no sense. Now with you in my head, agreed. Now how about some quiet time? Can't think. You stopped thinking long before I got here. But sure, blame it all on the guy in your head. Wait, wait, wait. Shh, shh. You need to look around.
pirate router. Think this is our Swedes doing? Only one way to find out. Takes a match, right? I'm out. Signal leads here and disappears again. Another router. Sounds like this Swedenborg really values his privacy. Oh, thought you were done talking to me. I was. But it's not like I got anyone else to talk to. 
I'd go through your memories, but I don't want to puke all over your hippocampus. Well, hack away or whatever it is you were gonna do. Please, something happened. Signal keeps going to another terminal. Ha! I've got a feeling someone's messing with you, V. You'll follow this breadcrumb trail, and when you connect the dots, all you'll see is a dick. I'm sure you'd love that, wouldn't you? Fucking A, I would. That cock would be the first thing Swedenborg did that actually made any sense. Except he'd probably give it some pretentious name, like... Patriarchal phallus upholding toxic masculinity. What do you think? I think it's time we moved on.
Look, get far enough from the smell, even Night City can be beautiful. Let me guess, another router? My dick theory starting to seem like a real possibility. Signal leads to another place? Yep. Hey, maybe this is all part of Swedenborg's message. Life is movement. Fuck the destination. It's how you get there that counts. Well, there's some truth to that. Jesus, V, this is philosophy for the hoi polloi. Have you ever read a book in your life? You know what? Don't answer. I don't want to know. So where's this next lead get us? A yoga class? A Tibetan monastery? No. To... To an amusement park. Oh. The plot thickens. you guys. Prime. Eric Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I missed you, you know. <laughs> Please, Herbert. It hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, it's true, I guess. Anyway, you'll come by, right? I'll come by, River. See you then.
trail cuts off here. So what? Asshole hiding here someplace? Oh, maybe. Or maybe we get to another terminal. Have to see. Funny area, this. Kind of complements our guy's style, doesn't it? How? This theme park another parody of capitalism run amok? Cheap entertainment for brain dead gonks, that's how. Experience the NUSA's biggest roller coaster, the Mega Ride. For an additional fee, you can get your own premium souvenir. Capital is the blood of the global system of oppression. Money is a tool used by the colonial oppressors of our minds. Class division is the breeding ground of anarchy. Wait, what the hell is this? What it looks like. Swedenborg Riviera. Ha! Come one, come all, for the profit of Night City. Ha! Oh, that's too good. A wind-up philosopher in a box. Hand me a couple of eddies. See what he cranks out next. You shall meet an attractive lobbyist when you least expect a violent outbreak of class warfare. Success is the delusion of the soul. Uh, need to take a look. Somebody must have tampered with this thing. Look. <laughs> Seriously? Up to the net. What? You think? What are you waiting for? Let's see what secrets are flowing in those cables. Okay, so, if I'm getting this right, someone hacked into this fortune teller bot, rejigged its algorithm to spew out anti-establishment aphorisms instead of prophecies... And then hooked it up to the net through a system of routers that masks the signal origin. Pure fucking genius. Can we find whoever did this? I need to shake their hand. <sighs> Unlikely, for two reasons. First... They didn't leave a trace. Second, you're dead, Johnny. Oh, right. When I get in a good mood, I forget that. Hey, V, don't turn it off, huh? Nah, don't worry, Johnny. I'm not gonna take away Night City's philosopher of the people. Huh. Well, then. To Swedenborg Riviera. Long the means of live. production should belong to the collective unconscious. Experience the NUSA's biggest role in the Mega. Ah, V. Let me guess. You called to tell me you're done bashing your head against the wall? Well, not exactly. We found something. We? Someone with you? No. Uh, no. I, I meant the, the royal we. So, about Swedenborg. It's all a big hoax. Say what now? It's an automated fortune teller. Strings words into deep-sounding mumbo-jumbo. Someone jacked it into the net. Probably laughing from his chair. Shit, V! This, this, oh, this story's even better than I thought. I'll take it from here. Oh, your, uh, your Eddie's on their way now. Thanks, bye.